Welcome back to the show, everybody. Cetrion, Mortal Kombat 11, things of that nature. We're going to get to that. But before we do, I just need to say something, right? Okay, you know, let me hold up. Let me get comfortable as I do this, right? Because when I went to go get this trailer, I saw something visually that I already knew and realized understand that when you give something to the masses the masses are going to do whatever they're going to do with it it took i had to go off of i had to do random google searches to find the actual trailer we're going to watch because when i searched for the trailer itself all of it was three pages of reactions and it's like i don't know is that is that the game? Is, is that what I'm supposed to learn from that to just to get a, a visual a visual look at what the game is now? Everybody and a mama sitting in front of a camera like, ooh, ah, and it's just like, wow. We have come a long way. We we have. It's like for for the opportunity that most don't even understand that they have for you to have the opportunity to get in front of a camera play a video and react to it and then upload it to youtube i sit here you know what i'm saying on, on my uncle triple old man shit like i come from a time not when everybody had an opportunity or in this instance wanted to because I come from a time you did this because you loved it. And if something so should have happened, and this is before multi-channel networks and before anybody could get in front of a mic and do something, that was just a crazy reminder of what it is that I'm looking at. Because, see, the thing is, is that, and this is just, just me being honest, is that the pie is big enough for everybody to eat but to be legitimately honest, because the goalposts continue, and I mean continue to get moved, it's hard to eat. So if you ain't diversifying what type of pies are on your table, in a minute, it's going to be a whole lot of starving foods. But I said that a year ago when this channel got demonetized because I got kicked from our MCN. So it was, it was kind of weird that that happened to somebody a couple of months back, and then all of a sudden, like, it's a big, huge deal now. This has been happening to people since their YouTube thing. So don't sit up here and think you want some kind of special snowflake. You're not. But I just want to just take some time and just say that, that because of this video we are about to take a look at, is that it just helped me put into perspective what it was that I already knew because an Uncle Triple thing to you. So every now and then, you have to look at things that you think you have in perspective and then re-put them back in there and looking and trying to find a trailer and seeing that there are lists of people sitting up here, I react to blank. And it's just kind of like mind-blowing to see like how many people are really trying to get up here and get out here in these streets and do it when I come from a time where, you know what I'm saying, more people watched it and acted. So it, it, it's, just the, it's just the thing. It's not like I'm saying that you can't go out here and go get yours. But what that reminds me of, especially because I, I had this same little thought when, you know, when I did all that Semi Showdown stuff of, is that I need to transcend my work. I need to find a way to diversify how I'm getting this cash. And I need to find more people willing to get it cash out. It, it's that simple. I'm not even, I'm even going to even gonna lie about what it is that we are about and what we own at this juncture. Because, you know what? I'm just going to let this rock and roll. Uncle Triple, Uncle Triple on a roll. Let me run this, okay? Given that this is now changed from we finna watch a trailer to Uncle Triple finna spit some heat. Let me spit this heat then. If this is really a state of what this is we doing around here, there are a lot of things that honestly, and I'm going to say this lot, that I can legally not say. I'm not saying up here saying that to be on some snitch. I'm legally, I'm telling, telling you that because that the squad got so many things in tow, and a lot of those things are things that I am not at liberty to say, or legally at liberty to say, because things are going to change. It's like, these things take time. Let's just put it to you this way. 
it took over a decade to get to the point where me and my brothers in, and we ready to do what it is that we're doing. And that's a long time to put your heart into to work on something. But a lot of that was not all the pieces were in place. Not all, not everything was ready, but things are slowly getting ready. And as you're going to see in the next couple of months, as we make that change, because the thing is, is that what this channel is ultimately going to be become is going to become a visual front for what it is that we're doing. That my job, you know what I'm saying, as the curator of what it is we do around here is that I've been given the green light because, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, because of what this is going to become. I've been given the green light to go dumber and hammer than I ever have before. And that's why a lot of what it is that get done around here is just whatever I want, whatever I feel like. Because again, if we go if we gonna talk on that real talk on what Uncle Triple is seeing, is that a lot of YouTube channels have focus. I don't want focus because the focus at this juncture should be a little, you know, in your face me this is my place to express myself so i've done all the reading i've done all the watching where well, people got multiple channels like man if you want to watch everything that i do about gaming you can watch it over here and if you want to watch everything that i got comedy skits over here and i talk things over here and i'm like that's too much work for someone as a simple man as me that everything is me and i don't want to overcomplicate me with a whole bunch of extra stuff now, there have been some instances where if I would have made those complications, we might be telling a whole different story right now. But the story we currently telling is, is that I get on this YouTube channel, I put out as much content as I want, when I want to, when I feel like it. I don't want to box myself into a schedule. I don't want to do that because I get a lot of talking like, yeah, well, I'm going to do this. And then things come up. So I just go at the moment like, yo, is there something to be done? Yo, you got the work to do it, do it. You know what I'm saying? Because again trying to diversify like what it is that we do around here because the thing is is that how do I how do I say this let's just say that I heard someone that I respect say some things that kind of illuminated me to what the immediate future is and you want to know what the immediate future is this about to go back to 10 years ago any minute now it's something that I've said, but to hear someone that I respect say that, yeah, because in a minute, in a minute, whatever bubble this YouTube thing is, it's going, it, it's either, it's going to overload and pop. No choice because of everybody and their mama got a YouTube channel about something. Everybody and their mama got a Twitch. Everybody trying to blow up. See, again, I come from a time where you did this more for you do it because you love it bragging rights or whatever and you know i'm like if there anybody that know me that knows my resume and we're not going to i'm not going to pull off the resume but when it comes to this youtube and interacting with videos on the internet i have one hell of a resume it's like again i'm gonna sit up and I, as i say this because i'm gonna say this with some pride i'm gonna stoop in the frame a little bit i'm gonna say this with some pride it's a lot of people in the streets that don't even know they're paying homage to the person for the reason why you eat. And this is coming from a person who was chasing another table who wanted to eat at that table so bad that I didn't see what type of detrimental damage I was doing. And when I look back at it now and the things that I seriously do have planned to do, that I'm going to do some things that, well... I should have did it that way a decade ago, and we just gonna do it now. The third more convenient way you can do the thing, but I'm gonna do the thing the way that I should have done it in the first place. Because, again, when this when this channel first started to on, I started getting the diary of a God and all that stuff. Was I just wanted to focus on fighting games because you know I thought that's what this that's what I thought the community needed. No, the community didn't need me or it. This channel needed to be a a outward expression of me it took me a while to get to that point of outward expression but i wish i would have gotten there sooner and then i wish i would have gotten to more grander out grander outpourings of expression and now i am at the grandest outpouring of expression 
Look at the things that I talk about and upload and don't tell me that's not the grandest expression of who am I as a person. You don't know what you're going to get when you come over here. Like, am I going to talk about a video game? Am I going to talk about this TV show I like? And what am I going to do? Because, see, that's diversification. And it's not diversification because I think I need diversification. If, that, if this is a representation of me as a person, then the thing that I make should be a representation of me as a person. So, yeah, I like a lot of stuff from a lot of different places all over the world. And this outward expression of me is me being like, yo, today I'm go I watched this episode of Common Rider, so if you like to, hear my dumbass thoughts about it. Well, here's this video game that I am taking a look at that maybe you might be interested in too, so here is that. And whatever it is that I feel like doing in between that. But this is the way that it should have been back in 2009. And to realize that now, because hindsight is indeed magically 2020, if that's what it is, and it can be nothing else other than that. I have been talking about diversification for a while. And as things are going to evolve and change around here, is that again, one or two things is going to happen. Either at some point, I'm going to magically do something that is going to completely change this thing, turn it around, and make it profitable. Or it's going to go back, I do this because I love it, and you're probably going to make very little money, if any at all, at it, even though the thing that would be nice is to make this profitable somehow, so that I don't have to do the things that I have to do to make sure that my family is taken care of, which is the most important thing. There is nothing more important than making sure that my people are taken care of. Nothing more important to me than that. That's the reason, that's one of the reasons why I do it. Because ultimately the goal is, you work hard enough at this, you can turn it into something profitable, and then you can eat in a way that don't obstruct anything that you do. Because the way that I'm eating now, things are obstructed because I have to, what's the big word look for? conform to what other people need of my time. I'm not a fan. No one is. No one who is in that position where you have to be somewhere to go do a job function when you could be doing what you want to. Nobody likes that. But again, you see how I'm sitting in front of this computer. This computer has to be magically powered somehow. Janine has to be powered in order for me to do something, right? Also, on top of that, I have to pay for the thing that allows me to take this thing, that powers this thing to make this, to be able to send it through a wire and then upload it and then do that. Also, what's important is, you know, I love water. So, if I want to keep having clean, healthy water to drink, got to pay the people that handle that. The missus gets cold at night sometimes. So, I need to be able to make sure that when she go flick on the hay, he come on, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the way I think about it. That I've been trying to turn something on this, and it's like for a while, for for a good little five minutes when I joined my NCN, I was hit. I'm like, I had I had a plan, but somewhere in the back of my head, I knew at some point that because of what I built my monetization on, that it was going to fall apart. But at that time, you didn't have no reason to think that it would. But then I lost two YouTube channels on bullshit. On things that people in the streets have. And I will admit that, yeah, I'm the dude who reinvented your remix. But y'all done went out here and reinvented y'all own remix in that respect. That we went that we went from uploading things from Nico to games have replay functions. So we'll just take that replay and then we'll make content out of it. Or, this person you may or may not like makes content and then you cut it and put it on your own shit and now you making money on somebody else. Or, the flip side of that is, well, if imitation, if, if imitation is, you know, this is serious art of flattery, right? The best thing I can do is take what you do, apply that to me, and then flip it on my own, and then maybe somebody will pay me attention. 
the thing is, that's a that's a true thing because I forget who had this quote. Is that when it comes to art, where draw something people are familiar with and put your own take on it. Do that enough to warm them up, and then you can bring them in and show them what it is that you can do. I forget who said that, and it's kind of bothering me that I forget who because it's bothering me. Like, for, like I don't know that person's exact name, though, but I know I remember hearing that, like, a version of that quote. I think it may have been um, Robin Zetti, I want to say. I don't think that's who it was. But regardless of that fact, though, it's true. Is that lately, I've read some things and trying to figure out, like, how to, you know, try to do this thing. And it's like, I read that stuff that those people offered me. You know what I'm saying? And, and it was great information. But it was already condensed information that, as long as I've been on YouTube stuff, that I kind of already figured out. Because of watching what your, what your contemporaries do. And it's like, at this juncture, who were my contemporaries a couple of years ago, we on different ways. Y'all on some other shit. And I and I and at this juncture, even people who I didn't even respect before, I respect your hustle. You do you. We we doing something different right here. And I'm like, and I understand embracing my different. Y'all see behind me. I'm like, I needed something to feel this side of the screen. And I'm like, they have it's like those stuffed animals have become integrated parts of what we create. Because of how it is that I decide I want to do this. Because this was kind of always the idea I ultimately wanted to get to. To how I wanted to present and frame what it is that I do. And those stuffed animals behind me, all of them, are part of that framing process. And I appreciate that, 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 that. Sitting up here and playing around with it like on some... On some really crowd wild and crazy Pee Wee Herman type PBS Mr. Rogers type shit is the thing that I've gone for because I feel that it, that best fits how it is that I'm trying to present and frame the presentation. And I understand it, and I know understand that everybody's not gonna like it, but um, I can't control that, nor do I care. I do what I do for me because that's what I want to do, and it feels good. To be able to express myself this way, and that's the most important thing. Like I, like I told John King years ago, I do this for free. I do this and not worry about a dime because it's a way for me to get back to myself and express freely what it is that's on my mind. And I'm glad that even though that I don't agree 101% of the time with how. The place where this is being uploaded handles business because I ran into that last week and it's like, this is a thing, but this is a thing. I'm not going to question it. But that shows me that either I'm going to find a way to diversify this outside of what it is. So either I'm going to sit up here and get some people to really rock with me on the Twitch thing. That's why we do multi stream because I'm not going to, because it's like, that's another thing that I've noticed because... I, I'll go ahead and I will name drop the person who I've been studying. Grand Pooh Bear. Shout out to him. I'm like, like he, he's been a big integral part of like why I enjoy speedrunning. So it's like I watch him, but the thing is, is while I'm watching him, it's like I'm sitting there taking notes at how he diversified. Like, he do all his hustle. He do all his hustle on Twitch. Come back and flip it on YouTube and they're making more money. So it's like you got some people that because of having... Having grandstands like games done quick have allowed like a lot of speedrunners to really get to this money, to really get to this grind, to really sit up here and present whatever it is they present, whether it is they going dumb on a character or whether there's somebody you like that you know that they have that option. Somebody like me, I haven't been granted that option, but hell, I ain't put myself in no damn position for me to take an option to where I can get a grandstand where people can pay attention to me. I'm just a dude who uploaded trailers for years, who then diversified that into talking about the things that I cared about, but focusing heavy on what it was that I thought people wanted and instead of what I wanted to do. But I understood and knew that the trailer hustle financed the game 
and this allowed me to do what I wanted on the weekend. You know what I'm saying? That's how I felt about what I did when I did Diary of a G.O.D. back in the day. That, you know, I'm just doing this, you know, just, just to just to enhance what it is that I'm already bringing. I'm still that same dude who got the trailers first. And then, and then at some point, it's like that had to fade away because it didn't really matter as much. Because everybody else was in on it. That once the game started to become profitable, everybody and their mama uploading trailers. But again, I come from a history of where you had to have special programs to download these things that it took a long time to bring a lot of what is archived on this channel that's not even in the places where they were anymore, that that took a lot of hard work and dedication to bring. Not that, you know, that I'm sitting up here again. I'm, I'm going to toot my own home a little bit. Like, a grand example of that is that if you go watch the cast code, the session video, like, because of how FK Digital had those those FLBs on their website was I had to find a link inside the source the source HTML drag that to another site to download it because of how they did it because you couldn't just watch it and then do the normal hustle hell I'm like early Kamen Rider videos like the bl the Blade Blue Hotter Sex and Think Your Cousin video a lot of that Japanese program that I had to learn to navigate in order for me to get that ASX stream to bring it down so I can make it into a trailer for people to watch but again like I said earlier seeing, seeing the way that the game has been diversified to see that it's people who you know long after I built that yellow brick road to go upload your stuff that you still doing it and good for you because a lot of those people were the only bastions for their communities and I'm getting I'm a keyword that communities of bringing them network and that's why they were lauded because they concentrated on one single thing over for a subset of people and that's enough for me the diversification of bringing you everything. Not just one thing, not just focusing. If it's a fighting game, it's right here for you. No excuses, no BS. I got exactly what you need. Always have been. I will say this, if we sit up here on some profession stuff, I, the one thing I do appreciate is that as much work as I put in to both DOA GH the dojo and DOA GH the shop. I'm glad they gone because that was a lot of work that I was literally doing for free stuff that I could have been monetizing and probably should have and probably was probably making money hand over fist with that was I didn't because and then people still complain is that you don't have a source but they say right here in the thing if you want the source just ask me in the comments and I'll bring it to you because I was uploading so much stuff. It was hard for me to keep up with all of that stuff to have sources for every single video if that things had to be. So it's like, if you want to know where this came from, I'll gladly pull that information up, hand it to you personally. But most people didn't appreciate it or want it. But then the things I was getting knocked for was, you didn't have it, hate month, blah, blah, blah. But here we are now. It has been over a year since I had that surgery, took that week, healed up, got in front of this camera, and started this quest to try to figure out what the hell this is going to be. The thing is, a year later, and I still don't know. I still don't know. I wasn't expecting to get in front of this camera overnight, and things were going to magically change. No. Because, see, I should, but the thing was, I was in front of the camera for a minute that I, and I've said this before, at the time, I misunderstood the game. Because what I wanted was the focus to be not me. That I wanted the focus to be on these things that I love and why I love them to be the catalyst for why I'm telling the story. Now, in a sea of Mr. Me Too's and Miss Me Too's and everybody want to be the next superstar. I have to now play magical catch up and try to transcend what it is that I do. But I should have been transcending that a decade ago. That's why the people who were who were still doing who are still doing what they do, they had help in transcending their work. They like a lot of those cats that you know that were my contemporaries, the one thing that they got that I didn't 
was one way or another. You had to connect or you got a leg up. And they took that leg up and they ran with it. And I, and I cannot be mad at that. But at the same time, I was thinking about this differently. This was just, you know, getting in front of the camera recording. Cause that was side hustle stuff. I'm still trying to, you know, do things. And then I bowed out for a second, which was probably the worst that I took. I bowed out on top. Not because I wanted to bow out on top, but because I thought that all I was supposed to do. I learned that lesson will never do it again. I understand why I did what I did, but it probably wasn't the smart thing to do. But you do what it is you do, and you do what you can, and you learn from your mistakes. Hindsight is twenty twenty. It can't be nothing else other than that. But here we are right now, trying to figure out how I'm going to diversify, how it is that I'm going to transcend this media that I produce so I can turn this into something profitable because that's the that's the game, right? That's that's what the scope is, right? Trying to transcend what it is that I do. That that other stuff like I talked about at the beginning, that stuff that I can't legally talk about, that may be what it is that I need to transcend how it is that I'm getting money. And that may and, and it may still be that this may be the front for that and we still getting paid. And I have to understand, like, whatever part that's going to play in that, that's going to play in that. Understood? No. So the question is, how am I getting more people to hit subscribe buttons, bells, use those links in the description? How it is that I do that? How do people do that? I don't know. Because, see, I don't know how I come off to people other than the people who deal with me. But I will say this, the people, the people who roll with me roll strong. The same people show up to every single stream no matter what time it is. They're always in the comments. They're always showing love and that I appreciate that. If we going to sit up here and name names, I got two patrons. Shout out to my boy Drew and shout out to my little brother Ryan Bonner. What's good? I appreciate that you know that you take... A little bit of your monetary value, which, you know what I'm saying, that I appreciate that. I, I'm like, I sit up here sometimes and look at my Patreon and be like, I don't deserve the two patrons I got because this is not why I got in it. Again, for those who don't know the history, the Patreon was a joke. It was a joke for a thing that I'm still trying to research and actually trying to do, and that is actually the Boxmasters of Bridge. That I'm trying to figure out a way to do the Boxmasters of Bridge without getting this channel shut down. And that, and that has been the thing, like, uploading a bridge episode of The Boss Master without getting sued. That, that is, that, when, when I've been working on this for, like, a year now, like, literally, like, I bet, I bet you Ron Baba thought I forgot about The Boss Master, The Bridge. No, I'm literally trying to work out the legal kinks because I really want to do that because I think it will be a fun, dumbass project to do. Like, yo, let's talk over The Boss Master, bro. Like, okay. But then, in that, trying to figure out how to get more people to invest in you because that's the game right because investing you turn that into merch turn that into whatever it is that is going to be or this gonna go back to 2009 and you just do it because you want to you do it because you love it because when i was doing it when i when i loved and when i was doing it for the love and doing it because i wanted to i was a very big fish in a very small pond because it wasn't nobody else putting out work on what I was putting out work on. And I was in a learning phase. And a lot of that stuff, when I go back and watch it, it's not cringy to watch. It's educational to see where my headspace was. To know that a decade later that I produce a lot better content because I've had the opportunity to just get out there, put my foot in the fire, and learn the thing is now it's taking all this education that I've learned by just doing and turn it into an action that's going to be profitable because that's the game because I would love nothing more than to break out the conformity that makes sure that I can do this so that this becomes non-conformity that it becomes profitable that I can do this for a living the thing is, is that I have to also realize the fact that no matter what I may do, at any juncture, that it may not happen. And that's something and that's something that I have made peace with. 
good old peace with that this may never turn into what it is that I want it to be, but I'm still going to do it. But then in that instance and understanding that that may be the ultimate thing of that looking at it and really trying to figure out like the ratio, the, the, the ratio to I do this because I love it versus this is not a thing that pays me and concentrate on things that does. The hardest thing you can do. Look, <laughs> I did not mean to get off on this tangent. We were supposed to watch the trailer and, and it's like I just needed to say these things. So... Another state of this channel, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, I appreciate everybody who come through and show love. I appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. I do. I, I appreciate that because I know. I know how much that means. It's like the same people who been. It like it it, 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 it bring me joy that when people that I've been rocking with forever come through. Like, yo, shout out to my boy Latin Tiger. He came through a couple weeks ago on that same round. Shout out like, yo, man, I ain't seen you in Hellas, fam. That made me feel good. It's somebody else I'm supposed to have been working with, like, forever. Shout out to my boy Boris. What's good, family? Like, we, we, we were supposed to do the greatest collaboration of all time, and then I got hemmed up and work. So I need to go actually hunt him down so that we can actually do this thing because I think that now that I got a lot more work and some things are going, some things are going to change around here very soon. Not even that legal stuff I can't talk about, but trying to get a better read because... I did not understand to know that given that even though that Janine put in work, the work that I need to put in, I need some, I need a, I need a, I need, I need a sexy beast to do that. And it's like, that's going to take a little bread. So that's going to take a little stacking on the side of the real money so I can get, so I can get a dumb thing. Like, like I'm like, if I'm looking at a PC, I'm probably going to be spending probably two stacks, two stacks twice. Because I'm trying to get the, the double CPU set up. I'm trying to get the double tower joint. Like one to, re one, one to record and one to record and all that other stuff. Because I've been researching this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm glad I'm glad one of the things I did was I invested in that, in that capture card. And I need to get another one. But if I step up and get a, if I step up and get another one, I'm going to get some real work. Like, I've seen some things that cost a pretty penny. But if I want to bring out the best content for this channel and wants to tr uh, and want to transcend what it is that I'm doing. I got to be able, you know what I'm saying, to bring out the best work. But I'm glad that you know that at least with Janine, I'm able to do things. Like I was able to record, to do, to record a video game that I couldn't on Betsy way back in the day and record and put and, and, and be talking and do all that stuff at the same time. Is that this stuff is crazy to me. That we, we are you talking about somebody who when I was bringing you all of the old videos and stuff, I would record all that stuff in virtual dub while I recorded it while I recorded it using a record function on my cell phone. Did all the editing, put it together, and put it out. And at a point, at a point, it became it became systematic science of I need I need this much buff at the beginning, this much buff at the end, so I can cut, so I can do that stuff, and you do that by learning. Now that all this stuff is. Is in here, I don't have to do a lot of editing. But then, they're like, if the gang going to step up, I'm going to have to get back in the editing. I probably need to learn and lose something a little more powerful than Camtasia, even though it do what it do. I'm up here stacking up the technology. There is some, there is a piece of little tech that I got to go spend a little money on, but given how powerful that technology is, it's worth every penny, so I'm working on that too. It's like a lot of stuff that I've been looking at, trying to get scalers and trying to get component cables and trying to get HDMI converters. It's like, it's a lot that goes into what it is that people do, that those who sit up here and bring you that quality. And I see a lot of people bringing out that quality and knowing that I'm doing the research and trying to and trying to get everything together is that I have a newfound respect for those people who sit up here and put out quality work because that stuff costs a lot. But then it's like, if your hustle paying you so much that you can invest back into your grind, then it's like stuff was paying for itself because here before we get up out here, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a little hustle, I'm gonna give you a little secret. When I was still with my MCN, the MCN and all the work that I was putting in every month was paying for the internet that I used. So I would put in enough work, and the internet would pay for itself, and it would be an even break. Because at that point, when the internet was paying for itself, is that it was just an even break and that was just one bill I didn't have to worry about because of 
I had videos that was hidden. I had videos that were hidden. So I was expecting, I was getting, and because of how the MCN was paying out and things like that, I was able to every month pay my pay the internet bill with the work that I was doing. And it, and it was a great feeling knowing that I'm going out here, putting all this work, doing all these things, going out here, hustling, grinding, making sure that I can do it. But the thing is, is that also in that, the game has changed a whole bunch with how I do it. Now, we ain't even talking about that. I just get on a mic and just put up a video and we watch it. That when I was out there grinding, is that it used to be you could post your video, be first, and post it on a certain website before they made rules of you can't post your own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I was using that to make money. Like, because I was getting that stuff in front of so many eyes, and then it was like, then you had to dial it back, and then it's like, well, you can't post your own stuff, but if somebody posts your stuff and think it's okay, and it's like, well, I'm not doing that. So, it, a lot has changed about the hustle. If I'm, if I'm going to think about this, let, let me run this in my head, though. Given that if I was making money at this in 2007 during the King of the Dojo arc, boy, I would still have money in the bank right now because of all those, because again, if YouTube was paying back in the day and it was still the same of, it's difficult to get this thing, you are providing a service for a thing, boy. I probably still have money in the bank when I think about it. When I was uploading all them trailers first back in 08, early 09, because like around 2010, being first stopped becoming a thing, it mattered because everybody and their mama wanted a piece of that pie. I probably would be making money. Probably would be making, probably still making money. It's like, my thing is, is that I got lucky a couple of times. I'm like, the Sinron Kagura video about Yumi that is no longer monetized in any way, that some Russian dudes monetized it, I took they hustle. Y'all y'all tried to y'all tried to grind off me and that was at that time when YouTube when, when it used to be a scary thing to try to sit up here and claim your own stuff because of the things that were happening. Korean TV chasing somebody like, we own Marvel versus Capcom three. No. But the one thing I will say, I'm glad that YouTube, and even recently, they are giving the opportunity for, for people who make content to fight back against the nonsense because everybody hustling. Whether you hustling, whether you hustling, or whether you hustling, however you hustle, you got a lot of people that are out here doing it the right way, and it's like it is what it is with that. So, I don't know. But I sit here now, and I sit here, and, I, and I'm getting all these things off of my chest is I have to sit up here now and figure out what am I going to do? What is it? Can, what is it? What is the thing that I'm not doing here? Because when I look at everything in the way it's set up, like, I'm bringing you to work. I'm bringing you compelling content. And not only am I doing that, is that I'm putting my whole, I'm putting my whole self forward. I'm sitting up here, I'm diversifying what I'm doing because I am a diverse person. So that even the stuff, the content don't matter as much as I'm sitting, I'm sticking myself out there. I'm a diverse person. I like everything. I'm going to sit up here and talk about it. Damn what anybody else got to say. Because again, we talking about a person who used to care. I used to care about, you know, that what, what you say and what you can't. I'm like, speaking of, speaking of that. I said this a while back on an, on another state of that yeah that was a thing that you know that that gave me a little trouble way back then and it and it deterred me from doing something that could have probably changed my life. You can't let what people do change what the game plan is. But I got some fuck all of that because I went back to that thing recently and figured out that I was right anyway. That I was the person who was right about that and you know it is what it is. I could take. And I can take some work into that, you know what I'm saying? So once I get all of that together, I will be showing y'all that and fully explaining it and everything. So don't ask about what it is. You'll, it'll just be up here. It's some other things I said I was going to do that I need to sit down and do. But it's like I got a lot going on, so I can only do what I can with the time I have allotted. So I'm trying my best. But hopefully, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, that if, oh, if the thing is that this is going to turn around somehow, that it do. And if it don't, I'm just going to do it anyway. But then I have to then understand and, and try to put in perspective 
of what this thing I love is versus how you eat in the night, see? And that's what it's got to be. So, all I can ask is that if you're feeling what it is that I'm doing, like, yo, it's ways that you can that you can support what it is that we're doing around here. Whether that's, whether that's monetarily, whether that's telling your people what it is that we're doing around here, feel free to do so. Like, if you got any questions, if there's anything that concerns you, plenty of ways to get at me, I'm an open book. I'm like, I get in my comments all the time. I don't know, I don't know a lot of people who get in their comments as much as I do, but I talk to the same people, but I love those people, and I appreciate that y'all come through and show that love, so I'm always here talking and interacting and shooting shit with y'all, because I love what it is that we do, because the most important thing at the end of the day is, I'm trying to build this community. It's like that's important to me to build this community and I'm not trying to say build it around me or anything, but you know that if being a central focus is something that yo that we all that we all here, that we all family, that if you wanna be a part of this clique, man, come on through, dog. I'm like, we we ain't we ain't judging you, we don't care what you look like, what you feel, nothing. Like, man, come through, be respectful, have a good time, man, because I wanna have a space for people to be able to express and be themselves. Because I get on I get on a mic and express and be me because this is one of the few opportunities in my life where I don't have to put on a mask. I don't have to pretend. I get to be the one and the only right here. And I don't get to do that a lot of places else. And that's why it means so much to me. That on top of leaving my legacy behind and telling this story that is meant to be told and meant to echo through the ages. At least that's how I believe it in my head to be. That this is, this is going to help somebody and that's what it's always always been that I'm not trying to turn thousands it only take one mind to be changed to see it a different way to change those thousands so you can't sit up here and be like yo I'm gonna shoot my shots at the masses no you do what you can one at a time because everything starts one becomes two two becomes four you can do the math and that's what I have come ultimately to in everything that I have been through on this YouTube journey since 2007. And knowing this information and knowing that this is something I truly want to turn around and truly want to be something that I can make money at, that I can be successful at and be something and give more to this than I am because I have to be like, understand and know that right now that because this isn't what it is, that I can only give so much because I gotta put my focus into what's making sure that I can. So, all you can do, all I can do is keep grinding at it and flip it, and ultimately it will be what it's gonna be. Regardless of that, yo, no apologies, but apologies for the tangent. But these things needed to be said. I didn't think it was gonna take this long to say these things, but I do feel cathartic i feel better that i said these things and do whatever you wish with this knowledge of what it is that we're trying to do and if you want to do something let me know how you want to do that and if you want to help and you want to do something i'm right here let me know what you bring to the table because again understanding and knowing that i was somebody who tried to eat at somebody else's table that wasn't the way to go the way to go was go in the forest, cut down your trees, build your own house, your own table, and invite who you want to come eat with you. Chasing somebody else's scraps ain't going to help. It, it works for some people, but for somebody like me, it never was. And I didn't realize that that's what I was doing, but I was so caught up in my own, in my own nonsense because of the hurt and the pain I was feeling around that time. But now, that hurt and pain ain't what it is anymore. What this is is what it's going to be. But how much this is going to be a part of my life is going to be determined on the factors that happen within probably next to the next six months in a year. Because either either this going to turn into something majestically profitable or is it going to be I'm doing this for fun and we go, and we going to do what we're going to do but we're going to dial it back a little bit just so I can give the focus proper to where it belongs. And those are some adult decisions that I have to make. And I'm going to make them one way or another. I pray the answer if I get to do this for a living. But if it's not, and if it's something different out there, then the things that I believe in, that to be honest and say that Jehovah will guide me to wherever it is that I need to go. 
and I will give it to him and I will let it be but I'm going to do everything that I can because I know this is what I want and I want it but the question is is this what I need and yeah, we'll see but look we got more show for you please sit back relax and stay tuned I am the one and the only that triple the G.O.D. If you made it all the way to the end of this, thank you very much for listening to me go on for 45 minutes because I need to get this stuff on my chest. Maybe, you know, when we come back from a commercial break, we'll actually watch a Mortal Kombat trailer. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. No promises being made, but for real. Sit back, relax, and stay tuned. Wink. Bang. Yeah, you know it's over. More show for you right after these commercial methods. <laughs> I don't know, given the serious tone and nature of this, maybe I shouldn't have even laughed, but yeah, I did it right. Of course, I even laughed. Monaco laughed. This it's, it, it, it bring it bring it gives it gives a finality to the ending of videos and a way to just express to know that you know I'm I'm leaning heavily into what it is that we do around. It's a fun. It's a fun part of what we do, and I'm glad that it's part. It's part of the ceremony of when I bring it this work. But look, if you again, what's more, if you made it to the end of this, thank you very much. If I thanked you, if I missed you, thank you, and all that old good stuff, and we'll see where this goes from here. Bang! More show for you right after these commercials.